Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video, I have finally updated one of, if not my oldest, charge blade build, being the Vampire Spinning Axe build. This took a while to do, just because the augments were a little bit annoying to get. They were the augments. Here is my Talisman, of course, it's a Berserk 2, with a 3-1 slot, and Item Prolonger 3. Here are all the skills and decorations, of course. All the green numbers here are from decorations. And I usually wouldn't lay it armor the weapon, you probably noticed that, but this is a very special occasion. So I definitely went ahead and layered it to what it was back in the day. Don't worry, I put the attack back on. But as with any other test, of course we gotta go take it to the best girl, Rathian. See if it can beat the damage checks that's the main part I'm concerned about. It should be able to beat them in theory, we'll see. But I remember this being a very, very fun playstyle to use. Um, if you haven't tried it, it's a lot of wirebug attack spam, which is why we're using the Amatsu weapon. Just to get consistent damage on every hit rather than a chance of having the extra damage. Counter to get our shield charge, just so we do more damage in spinning axe, of course. Okay, we should be safe as long as I roll and dodge the follow-up. We should be good. Okay, swap to that. I didn't use my Felvine, unfortunately, but that's okay. Hyper armor this to get our Anomaly Blight active, so I can heal from everything for a bit. Quick one, and then air dash through it. Okay, you can also cancel um, your air dash at the first spin. So you do your first spin and then you can do anything else out of it essentially. As soon as that animation is finished, if you let go of the button, it'll actually let you act out of it. So you can do your um, explosion to get away, like this, and then a blast away. Uh oh, that's fine, we block. We've got ready stance for that and knockdowns, so it's very, very nice. Dodge the sweeps. We can't. We shouldn't be tanking through them. That's why I'm not doing so because it applies uh, poison, which is quite difficult to deal with w with a berserk build. So you just got to try and avoid statuses as best you can and get as many free anomaly blights as you can. Intrepid through that, thankfully. Block it into a spin. Can roll under her. Okay, nice. Trample's gonna hit. Yeah, unfortunately, just hit boxes in this game. It's fine. Ready stance and get over to her. Trample. It didn't hit me that time. We take those. Quick spin. Dodge it. We go up after a, after the second one. We've got Anomaly Blight, so we should be able to heal plenty. Just like that. We got the damage check already. Very nice. I'm going to swap. Get over to a swap again. Okay, there we go. We wasted quite a bit of time there, but I reset my Berserk, which is quite useful for sure. Okay. Don't get hit by that one. No need to, because she's going to be quite tired, so she's going to be very inactive. So we can just land this ready stance damage really easily. Nice suit, there's our stun from using impact. That's why we chose impact instead of a elemental one. Even though the elemental vials explosion does some silly, silly damage. We definitely want to have that stun to help us get some more damage out of it. Also get blood awakening active. There's the mount. I'm going to sharpen even though I don't think I need to. Um, just to make sure we have enough sharpness, because this isn't a Heaven Sent build. I think last time I ever played this, I went with Heaven Sent instead. This time, we are going with Blood Awakening, because I feel like I can activate it pretty consistently. As you can see, her face is already broken, so it's definitely a good way to do it. Charge the shield. Nice suit. Swap back, and we got to get it set up again. She should bite out of it, which is lovely. She'll take a bit, because she's a bit tired. I also haven't put Defiance on here. I figured I um, should be trying to like perfect the playstyle rather than have Defiance save my butt every time there's a roar because we should be able to predict pretty much every roar, to be honest. As well as attacks like that can go up in the air. I should have cancelled it early just so I could get away a bit sooner, but that's alright. Smack the face a bit. Also, the second part of that air dash, like the second coming around of the axe, does more damage than the first if you can land it. Quick one. Okay, nice. That's why I didn't hold the button, because I knew she was going to move soon. Quick ED2. Turn around and block it. Roll to keep our axe mode, and then chase her down. Can go up after her. Nice, the good part of it hit. Fireballs, just go over to her. Again, don't try and tank status attacks. It's generally not a good idea. Go up after her, just one, and then blast away like that. As I said, you can cancel after the first one as long as you don't hold the button by the start of the second spin, I think it is. So it's a good way to do so. As you can see, this build is just flying around in the air. It's basically Insect Glaive, except you're a lot safer in the air than Insect Glaive is. Also gave me Anomaly Blight there, which is cool, because I can use it here. Ah, missed. That's alright. Ah, uh, ooh, okay. Good timing for that. 
Let's go to the face. I've got Anomaly Blight, so I'm just going to do damage. We've also got a Healing Bat behind me, which is huge. Obviously, I don't have to swap then if I go pick that up. I should have probably waited. Oh, good stagger, good stagger. Let's go get this. Quick one. Oh, we get Anomaly Blight. Ah, she missed. That's okay. All good. Quick AD2. Nice, ooh, she's tired. There's a trip. I'm not exactly sure what trip do, but we take those for sure. Again, I've got bats, so I'm not worried about the, like, two stacks of Berserk I've got, essentially, at the moment. She'll attack out of that. Didn't get me Anomaly Blight, that's alright. Blast away, because it's going to hit me otherwise. And we got a cheeky stagger off it, too. About to lose our shield charge, so I'm going to swap. Can you bite me, please? I would like to charge my shield. You're out of gas, love. Okay, I guess I'm just going to sit in this mode for a little bit, try and counter something to get my shield charge. Possibly. Hey, can you hit me? I'm waiting for that or a roar. Like that. Excuse? <laughs> Excuse me, love. I uh, should have gotten a buff there, but that's fine. That's exactly what I was waiting for. I wanted that buff for my shield, of course, just to do more damage in axe mode like this. Dodge it and dodge a second. Again, we don't want to deal with tanking through status. It's not a good idea. Okay, fireballs. Quick ED2. Or ED1 into ED2, of course. Gonna try somewhat aim for these zits. I don't know if the third, like, anomaly check is always guaranteed to fail. I don't think it is, but... With, like, recent testing I've done of builds and stuff, it's always failed on the third one, despite doing good damage and not getting hit that much. ED1. Roll. Right, ED1 down here, because we can hit this zit. Nice, ooh. Dodge it. We can go up after her. Blast away. Roll. And we go after her. Good, good damage. Right. Trample, unfortunate. Just roll it. There. Go up after her, she doesn't do a second one. Off that trample. Nice trap. ED2 into it. Into ED2 again, because we can actually hit the face. And another one, we've still got a bug. Cancel it early so I can air dash in case I need. Yep, that's fine. Alright. Second one, please. Thank you. Air dash after her. Yep, there's the... Oh, okay, we just got it. So I guess it's not guaranteed then. Interesting ED2. Because it reached. There's our second stun. Very nice. Which is actually quite rare. It's odd that I got a second stun in a hunt. That's uh, it's definitely rare. Unless you're like playing Hammer or Hunting Horn, it's quite an odd thing to see in Anomalies. Oh, still tired. Okay. Well, obviously she's still tired. Nice trip. Thank you. Get some more damage. Another ED2. We're beating it with Blood Riot. We haven't swapped out of Berserk for a while, so we're taking quite a bit of damage from the Berserk buildup. But that's okay, you're still out of gas. Another ED2. Nope, okay. We reset uh, our shield. Thank you. Go back into Berserk. It's alright. Charge this axe real quick. Ready stance. And we roll to keep it. Ah, that's gonna suck. Now we're gonna try and beat some... Um, what's it called? The Berserk build up. Or the uh, poison with Berserk. Which is okay, she chose good AI for that. But we gotta get back into spinning axe now. Which is okay. Actually... I don't think I've ever tested it. Can you get into Spinning Axe from the counter? I don't think you can, right? It's just a regular one. Might be worth trying that. Like, uh, counter one and then get your next counter to give you Spinning Axe and then swap. Well, everybody, that was the return of one of, if not the oldest build I've ever made, being the Vampire Spinning Axe build. It was actually really potent still. It's still very, very strong and it's very enjoyable to use. You just spam Air Dash and then some Ready Stance ED2s in between when they're tired. And then obviously ED2 when they're exhausted on the floor. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.